Ever feel that burning sensation in your chest after a meal? Maybe you're experiencing it right now. It's called acid reflux, and it's more common than you think. Today we're diving deep into practical and effective ways to get rid of acid reflux and heartburn. But before we start, let me ask you a few questions. Do you often feel uncomfortable after eating? Do certain foods seem to trigger that unpleasant burn in your chest? And most importantly, are you ready to take control and say goodbye to acid reflux? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you're in the right place. We've got a comprehensive guide for you, packed with tips and tricks to help you manage and alleviate acid reflux. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest health tips and wellness videos. Let's get started. All right, our first tip is all about elevation. Did you know that elevating the head of your bed by about six to eight inches can make a huge difference? Here's why and how to do it. Elevating the head of your bed by about six to eight inches can help prevent stomach acid from flowing back into the esophagus while you sleep. Gravity plays a crucial role in keeping acid down in the stomach where it belongs. You can elevate the head of your bed by placing blocks or risers under the bedposts at the head of your bed. Alternatively, you can use a wedge pillow specifically designed for this purpose. Ensure that the elevation is consistent and that the entire upper body is elevated, not just the head, to avoid putting extra strain on your neck. Lying down immediately after eating can cause the contents of your stomach, including acid, to press against the lower esophageal sphincter, LES, the valve that separates the stomach from the esophagus. This pressure can cause the LES to open, allowing stomach acid to flow back into the esophagus. To avoid this, try to remain upright for at least two to three hours after eating. Engage in light activities that keep you in an upright position, such as taking a walk, doing household chores, or working at a standing desk. If you need to relax, consider reclining at a slight angle rather than lying flat. If you need to lie down due to fatigue or other reasons, try to lie on your left side. This position can help reduce the likelihood of acid reflux by positioning the stomach below the esophagus, using gravity to keep stomach contents down. Next up, maintain a healthy weight. Excess weight, especially around the abdomen, increases pressure on the stomach and the LES. This added pressure can cause the LES to relax inappropriately, allowing stomach acid to escape into the esophagus. Maintaining a healthy weight involves a combination of regular physical activity and a balanced diet. Aim to include at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise, such as brisk walking or cycling, each week. Incorporate strength training exercises at least twice a week to build muscle and increase metabolism. Focus on a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Avoid high-calorie, low-nutrient foods such as sugary snacks, fried foods, and processed items. Portion control is also important. Try using smaller plates and bowls to help regulate portion sizes. Consider working with a healthcare provider or a registered dietitian to develop a personalized weight management plan that suits your needs and lifestyle. What's more, quit smoking. Smoking can weaken the lower esophageal sphincter, making it easier for stomach acid to flow back into the esophagus. Additionally, smoking increases stomach acid production and impairs the ability of the esophagus to clear acid. Quitting smoking can be challenging, but there are many resources available to help. Consider joining a smoking cessation program, which can provide support and strategies for quitting. Nicotine replacement therapies, such as patches, gums, or lozenges, can help reduce cravings and withdrawal symptoms. But wait, there is more. Wear loose-fitting clothing. Tight clothing, especially around the waist, can put pressure on your stomach and the LES, causing stomach acid to flow back into the esophagus. Opt for clothing that is comfortable and not restrictive around your abdomen. Choose looser-fitting pants, skirts, and dresses, and avoid tight belts and waistbands. When shopping for clothes, look for items with elastic waistbands or adjustable features. If you need to wear more form-fitting clothing for certain occasions, try to balance it with looser options during the rest of the day. Prioritize comfort in your everyday wardrobe to help reduce the risk of acid reflux. If you find this video helpful and informative, please support the Healthy Pantry channel by leaving your comment below, liking this video, and subscribing for more daily health and nutrition tips.
Now let's talk about avoiding trigger foods and drinks. Certain foods and drinks can relax the lower esophageal sphincter, LES, or increase stomach acid production, leading to acid reflux. Identifying and avoiding these triggers can help manage symptoms. Examples of common triggers, fatty or fried foods, spicy foods, chocolate, caffeine, alcohol, carbonated beverages, citrus fruits, like oranges and grapefruits, tomatoes and tomato-based products, and peppermint. Keep a food diary to track what you eat and drink, and note when you experience acid reflux symptoms. This can help you identify specific triggers and avoid them. Once you have identified your triggers, plan your meals and snacks to exclude these items. Additionally, eat smaller, more frequent meals. Large meals can increase stomach pressure and the likelihood of acid reflux. Eating smaller, more frequent meals can help reduce this pressure and improve digestion. Instead of having three large meals a day, aim for five to six smaller meals spaced evenly throughout the day. Each meal should be balanced, including a mix of proteins, carbohydrates, and healthy fats. Moreover, chew food thoroughly. Eating slowly and chewing food well can aid digestion and reduce the risk of acid reflux. Thorough chewing breaks down food into smaller pieces, making it easier for your stomach to process. Practice mindful eating by paying attention to the taste, texture, and aroma of your food. Avoid distractions such as watching TV or using your phone while eating. Focus on the experience of eating and enjoy each bite. Don't forget to stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water throughout the day can help with digestion and prevent dehydration, which can exacerbate reflux symptoms. Water can also help wash down food and reduce the concentration of stomach acid. Aim to drink at least eight glasses of water a day, but adjust this amount based on your individual needs and activity level. Spread your water intake throughout the day rather than drinking large amounts at once. But did you know ginger has natural anti-inflammatory properties that can help reduce symptoms of acid reflux? It can soothe the stomach and improve digestion, reducing the likelihood of acid reflux. You can consume ginger in various forms, such as ginger tea, ginger ale, not too carbonated, or by adding fresh ginger to meals. Try drinking a cup of ginger tea before or after meals to help with digestion. What's more, aloe vera juice can soothe the lining of the stomach and esophagus, reducing irritation and inflammation. It has natural healing properties that can help alleviate acid reflux symptoms. Drink a small amount of aloe vera juice before meals. Be sure to choose a product that is specifically labeled for internal use and follow the dosage instructions. Start with a small amount to ensure it does not cause any adverse effects. Aloe vera juice is generally safe for short-term use, but it can have a laxative effect in some people. Monitor your body's response and adjust your intake accordingly. If you have any underlying health conditions or are taking other medications, consult with your healthcare provider before using aloe vera juice. Additionally, baking soda is a natural antacid that can neutralize stomach acid. It provides quick relief from heartburn and other acid reflux symptoms by raising the pH level in your stomach. Mix half a teaspoon of baking soda in a glass of water and drink it slowly. This should be used occasionally, as frequent use can lead to imbalances in your body's electrolytes and other potential side effects. If you experience severe or frequent acid reflux symptoms that do not improve with over-the-counter medications and lifestyle changes, it's time to see a doctor. Persistent symptoms can indicate a more serious underlying condition that requires medical attention. And there you have it, folks. We hope these tips and strategies help you manage and alleviate your acid reflux symptoms. Remember, everyone's body is different, so it may take some time to find what works best for you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more health and wellness tips. If you have any questions or want to share your own tips for managing acid reflux, leave a comment below. Take care and see you in the next video. Thank you for joining us here at The Healthy Pantry. We hope you found the information valuable and inspiring. Remember your health is a journey, and we are here to guide you every step of the way. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.